there's no doubt Buick has come a long way in the past 10 years. Recent ad campaigns have touted the brand's new products as being expectation-shattering, and for the most part one would agree. Having spent time in the Regal, Lycross, and Enclave, my expectations of Buick have been kicked up significantly since the early 2000s. That's why I was so disappointed when I first stepped foot in the Buick Cascada. The Cascada is based on the car of the same name sold in Europe by Opel, GM's European arm. That car has been available in Europe since 2012, which helps explain why the Buick version feels a bit dated. The Opel Cascada also isn't positioned as a premium car. Although those traits don't jive with Buick's revamped image, the brand has successfully adapted Opel models in the past. In this case, though, Buick lists the Audi A3 Cabriolet and now discontinued Lexus is convertible as key competitors, and that's just hard for me to see. The first thing I notice when I walk up to our tester is that there's no hands-free keyless entry. Okay, maybe it's a stripped-down base model, I thought. But then I see it's a top trim Cascada Premium. Hands-free keyless entry and push-button start aren't even available. Those are features you at least need to offer if you're trying to pass as a premium car in 2016. But even if I didn't have to insert a key into the ignition and turn it myself like a pleb ion, the cheapness of the interior would be a red flag. The plastic trim surrounding the radio looks like it belongs in a Chevy Sonic, and the center console materials feel just as economy car-esque. 